Welcome to what many call the original Death Valley, Clemson, South Carolina, where the crowd is rocking in anticipation of the showdown we have in store. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see, the number 22 team in the country, the NC State Wolfpack, taking on the 17th ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. NC State with the kickoff team on the field and just about ready to start. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The first down for the offense. Takes the handoff. It's Maffa. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll give it to the back. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. It was a really nice play there. The thing I like about this guy, too, his versatility. He's not just good running the ball. Like he can catch and he can block. And you think about all the greats they've had at the position in recent years. Versatility at the running back position. Being an every down back. And that's exactly what this guy embodies. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Good job reading the defense by the quarterback on that RPO feed. He waited to see how the defense was going to play the run. He saw defenders bite up close to the line of scrimmage, and right away he knew he had the slant throw right in behind. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Runs through a tackle. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coach is block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. On the run, it's Klubnik trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. Quarterback on the keeper. Shakes off the tackle. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. This offense set up with a second and short. Looking for a crease. It's Adams. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sideline, it's Brown. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one in there at the 35. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third shot. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. 
-hmm. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Back to pass, it's Klubnik. Zings it complete to the right. I love having guys that have the ability to make something happen after they catch a simple hitch route, right? Okay, give me some extra yards. Give me a first down after the play. Nice job by the wide receiver. Clemson trying to put its paws on a productive red zone trip. Going to the run, it's Lafa. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Throw to the end zone, picked off. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Man, that is so tough. When you play defense, you get your eyes on your keys and you got to read them, but sometimes they lie to you. You can see the little misdirection by this offense. Fooled the defense, created some space. The offense took advantage and made a huge play. He'll keep it himself. Got enough for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Early down, go to the QB zone read. Nice decision by the QB. Saw the defensive end pinching down, kept the football and showed you his speed, breaking off that long run. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He'll pull it on the read. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Colin. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Wolfpack with a first and ten here. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They'll pull him down after a pickup of five down to the 23. The counterplay is a great play to mix in with your base concepts. Obviously, everybody flies to the football, flies to the football, bang. Now you pull a guy, you go backside, give him a little counter, keep the defense off balance. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Power football with the run. They get him down, tough run, picks up four, they'll mark it at the 19. I didn't bust for a long time. Now, third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole play goes short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. He'll do it himself. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You know, good decision-making at the quarterback position is important. Not just throwing it, but running it as well. It was the right decision that time to keep the ball in the zone, Reed, and rip off a big play here early in the game. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. Back to throw. It's McCall. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, NC State. 
And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. The give to the tailback. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Movement on the offense, and they'll lose five yards on the penalty. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's grinding school. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Makes the grab. It's Mafa. It's a fumble. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Nice heads-up play by the defense to jump on that ball after it got popped out. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll go right back to the run. Keeps the legs moving. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and then an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got full down my pocket if I want to go for it. Here comes the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. This offense has a first and 10. They are flat bailed out by the defensive penalty. He's looking to throw it. Fires and picked off. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. The 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Clemson. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, and get you a touchdown. automatic 
And it's up and good. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. From the gun, running back on the move. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. A third down play to open up this quarter. To the air, it's McCall. Quarterback adapting. He breaks a tackle. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll run it from the gun. Breaks the tackle. He has the first and still on his feet. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. This Tiger running game starting to show some juice. Sort of a C.J. Spiller type of feel. Yeah, and it doesn't always hit you early. It doesn't always hit you on the first possession, but I do think they've done a good job over the years, Clemson, with sticking with the run game, creating that balance, trying to get those first downs, and trying to create some tempo against your defense. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. On target to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This guy has the look of the next big play receiver at Clemson in the vein of T. Higgins or Mike Williams or DeAndre Hopkins, or Sammy Watkins. I mean, the list is pretty lengthy of guys that are, are big, explosive, fast, and they can really win on the outside. And Clemson, as much as anybody, they're going to catch the ball, spit it to those guys, let them go make plays. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road to full court. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, 
Running to the football, nowhere to go. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy. A 42-yarder from the left hash. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. drive ended with a field goal the kickoff team out there to send it away on the run from inside his own five he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18 takes a handoff it's waters didn't find a lot of room let's give him two out to the 20 and the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. It makes him talk to the hand. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. And I just love having a decisive quarterback. Like, give him options, but he makes a decision, sticks his foot in the ground, says, I'm going to get the first down, and he gets it. Now on first down from the 28. He's going to pass. Got him downfield. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it, and they pick up the first. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. NC State with the first and 10 here. Catch in the middle. It's Concepcion. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Wants to throw. It's McCall. He's right on target. And they pick up just a few on that completion. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down.
looking to move it through the air. Unloads it left. He's got it. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business. First and goal. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. A first down run in the red zone. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, North Carolina State! You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it in a clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up the touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been punked the whole way down the field. Man, that's frustrating. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They put together an 81-yard drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. On first down, here comes this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. And they can't make the connection. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? You gotta find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable, but you can't let that timing be easy and effortless. Nice job by the defense. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Back to the air one more time. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. Really confident blow and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. A strike downfield. Big out loose. Almost housed it. Finally dragged down at the 32. And you got to love the versatility of the big throw. You put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. Clemson is quick to the line. To the air on first down. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Man, those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. The play action fake. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. 
looking for a man. It's club. He'll take a shot. Give him six. Touchdown, Clemson. Sometimes it's players, not plays, or sometimes it's both. And when you got that guy and you put him in the slot and you let him burn for a go route right past a nickel corner or one of the reserve corners or a safety, that's a great job by the offense. And that speed you can't teach, and that's why he's in the house for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop in the 19. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Out of the gun to give to the back. It's a fumble on the play. Now the defense has got it going the other way. And he's brought down and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. You got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. And the pass is incomplete. Jar loose by the hit. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's complete to the left. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. I'm not sure this was ever a real decision. They'll go for it on fourth and inches. They'll try it on the ground. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? Offense set on first down. He wants to throw. Quickly complete. Smashes through the tackle. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, this tight end is so athletic that at times they'll line him up in different parts of the field. That time he was in the slot. Nice job running the route, finding the open space in the defense for the completion. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Got it in the middle. It's Collins. Creates a little room. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Trying to find his man on first down. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Good, wide open, big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. you got to make that play. Those are one of those where I, I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was on me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. Looking to throw it again. Snagged in the middle. It's Concepcion. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. When you play zone coverage and you got a wide receiver that's a beast, it becomes very, very difficult. Got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. 
Wolf back will have first and ten. Dropping back, it's McCall. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. Man, it's so hard to play defense nowadays. You got to strike someone, you can hit them. You get flagged for targeting, you get flagged for passing up here. That was beautiful. Great job in the end zone, making it a hard window to throw into. And when he caught it, making him feel you. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. <laughs> This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Fires downfield. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Wants to throw on first down. That's caught. It's Williams. Hit the afterburners, kid. Touchdown, Tigers. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. They're lining up to boot it away. Looking for block. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Grabbed over the middle, it's Waters. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Ready to start the second half, and Clemson will kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down for this offense. Trying to set the tone with the run. Find some space enough to get five to the 22. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Give to the back. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Defense tries to get off the field on third down. He'll keep it himself. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Maybe a little frustrated after that last incompletion. It's second and 10 from the 38. Got a man, it's Adams. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football, trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Here comes Clemson with another first down. He'll just keep slinging it. He's got an open man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. Clemson jumps to the line. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Mafa. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Tigers! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. point they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10 so that scoring drive took only six plays and they closed the deal with the seven yarder for the score 
lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Caught over the middle. It's Concepcion. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, these wide receivers work in the middle of the field. So much of this is feet. understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on the man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays up the middle. Looking for a man, it's McCall. Completes it in the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player. And we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that get suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. This offense has a second down play. Looking for a gap. It's Waters. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. going up top just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch man they needed that one and that took every bit of concentration by the wide receiver there that was awesome big third down you got to make the catch but you got to make sure you stay in bounds he did a really good job of securing that and keeping the chains moving nc state going up tempo He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they've been burned a few times early in this game by the QB run, but we're going to let it happen there. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Off the play fake. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. Dropping back, it's McCall. They're trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. He'll try to really get into this one. Running it back, it's Brown. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Pulls and fires complete. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. 
Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left. And he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Nine-yard pickup on first down. And now they can take a shot on second and short. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. After the miscue, first and 15 for this offense. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. This dude is putting up numbers. He just cracked a 150 mark in receiving yards. Man, he's a weapon, Reese. He runs routes. He's fast. He's great with the football in his hands. And he can line up in a lot of different spots and run the entire route tree. I mean, what can't this guy do? The RPO, it's complete. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, that play takes some protection. If you're going to stick it in the belly, and that wide receiver is going to run down the field that far, I need some good protection, and I need my lineman not to go downfield. Nice job by the quarterback making the right read, being patient, throwing that strike. The give to the back. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Caught behind the line. It's Brown. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. On the move, it's Klubnik. And he's got it! Touchdown, Tiger! This dude is putting on a show, taking up resonance in the end zone by the air and by the ground in keeping with what Clemson looks for in a quarterback. Man, this is unbelievable. I mean, you've seen so many great guys run through, and Clemson majors in quarterbacks that can throw, can run, and really be dynamic, and this guy is having himself a day. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. So it's a 77 yard touchdown drive, and they finish it up with a three yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Grimes. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. From the gun, the running back has it. 
He is knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Trailing down by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. He's looking to throw it. Grab behind the line. It's Concepcion. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Looking to pass. It's McCall his man and he'll be marked down right there still short of the first down we've got this third down play to open the quarter from the gun wants to pass Grabbed in the middle. It's Concepcion. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Give to the running back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. He's going to pass on second down. He was thinking big return, didn't get that, but boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation for the fourth quarter. I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Running back searching for a hole. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to run for it. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. Clemson will send the punt team out. Looks it all the way in and now turns his attention upfield. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Catch in the middle. It's Rodgers. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. That's the way to start a drive. Now they'll snap it just shy of midfield. To throw, it's McCall. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Wide receiver shows motion. Now on the option. Now the pitch. Runs through the tackle. And he caught that pitch in stride and was off to the races. A big gain and a first down for this offense. The Wolfpack now operating in the red zone. The pull and throw off the RPO. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Wolfpack! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this. You keep finding them. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Looking for room. It's Maffa. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. Fires to the big fella. A little more space opened up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. Now on first down from the 30. To the air, it's Klubnik. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but still a good game. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's grinding school. 
And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Motion from the offense. On second down, wants to throw. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Clemson! And they take it in for six more points. Now they have extended this lead, guys. Starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They're bringing heat. Fires to the big fella. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Finds his man. It's Waters. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moving it forward just a few. Well, here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and leave the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And this defense came to... Play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the returner goes down. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Leaves it with the running back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Third down after the run. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. 
quick strike complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there. A similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. They got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Keep it on the ground. And the Tigers have a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Clemson set up with another first down. Handoff from the gun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll try the run. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going. And you're just going to try and keep this thing marching. Keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. You just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. To the ground with the back. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll go to the ground. And a short run there, and that'll end it. 